Hey guys, welcome to my channel! La 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 whoa, 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 whoa. This is Messages from Divine Masculine. It's Saturday. It's a great day. And Divine Masculine, even though Divine Masculine is getting their face drunk through the dirt, <laughs> we Divine Feminines, we are not having any of it. Now are we? We are not having any of it. Welcome, welcome. What a great live Q&A we had a couple nights ago, you guys. I hope you can hop on the next one. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a professional Twin Flame coach who also reads tarot cards on the side, not the other way around. And I've got some good news for you. I was able to attract my twin flame to me like magic. Union. Union, guys. What is that? You want that? Huh? Well, it's not what you think, literally. It's literally not what you think. It's what you are. Let's talk about union. Why not? Let's do a little union talk today. Because union is what everybody wants, right? You want to be with your twin flame? We get that. What is that? Well, first, I made a video about it. If you go to this channel, New World All Star, go to the main page of this channel, go to the playlists menu, and look for the playlist called How to Get Your Twin Flame. And all of the videos where I talk about twin flames are in there. Otherwise, you're going to be looking through the videos section. And there's a whole bunch of tarot readings and, you know, it's just easier. I have them all in one place. All the videos where I talk about twin flames. How was I able to get my twin flame to come to me? How have I been able to help so many people get their twin flame to talk to them again? Get out of the obsessive thinking and go on to live your best, most amazing life. One that can include being with your twin flame, right? So I talk about that in those videos. Well, anyway, one of the videos is called, what is it like to be with your twin flame? And one of the first things that I talk about is, well, what is union? Because here's the thing about the soul, which is what you guys are. You guys are both the same soul, right? And this is what makes me different from everybody else and everybody knows it because I'm just a spiritual teacher, really. I just happened to come here through the Twin Flame channel through the Twin Flame Avenue, right? But I approach it like that. I approach it like that. That's why I was able to get my Twin Flame to come back. And I've been able to help others do it too. So what's up with the soul? You guys are the same soul. I guess what we need to do is some soul stuff, right? Not healing, not fixing childhood wounds, not clearing karma. No, 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 no. I call that pop culture spiritualism. It's not real spiritualism. You need to do real spiritualism. What is real spiritualism? I don't know. The soul, right? The soul. It's soul stuff. It's soul stuff. And here's the deal. Union is going to be soul stuff, right? You want to be with your twin flame? You want that? Union is going to be soul stuff. So what are we talking about? Well, the soul is completely free. There's no rules. There's no restrictions. It's not where we have um, a relationship that's defined by borders and rules. You guys just kind of are. You guys just kind of are. And, 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 and maybe that doesn't make sense to some of you. To, 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 I, I want to say actually... After having done this for so long on YouTube, probably most of you do know what I mean by that, actually. I think most of you do know what I mean by that. But you let go of form. The soul has no form. It's pure freedom. It's just consciousness. It's energy, the soul, which is what you and your twin flame are, the same soul. So there's no form. There's no rules. There's no expectations. It's not something that you define. You just let what be, you just let what is be. It doesn't have a shape or a place. It's not like, like with a soulmate, when you're together, it's, oh, okay, we're in a relationship. The borders of the relationship are this. I'll be with you. You be with me. And 
Um, I won't cheat if you don't, right? There's borders. It's defined. We have this relationship now. It's a thing, okay? Now, if you and the soulmate break up, it's no thing. If you and the soulmate are together, it's a thing. It's a relationship. It has form. If you and the soulmate break up, it's no thing. It's nothing. Now, union is neither of these. It's not a thing, and it's not nothing. And that's what I teach people about the soul, too, by the way. The mind is duality. Thing, nothing. Good, bad. Love, fear. Positive, negative. That's the mind. But this is not a journey of the mind. This is not soulmates. This is twin flames. You guys are the same soul. It's not two souls. It's one soul. You guys are the same soul. They are you. They are you. You are the same soul. So that's the mind. But duality is the mind, right? Okay, now the soul is neither. It's not we're a thing and it's not we're not a thing. It's neither. It's just what is. It's just what is. You are union. You just have to let go of the belief that you are separate from them. You already are them. Haven't you ever had the feeling like you guys, oh, I just know we're going to be together. I know we're going to be together. I just know it, right? Have you ever had that? Of course you have. Of course you have. Why? Because you are. You are. You are already together. You are them. You are them. You are them. It's very, very simple, you guys. It's very, very simple. Okay. So, at the bottom of the deck, we have the universe. La da 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 across the universe. La da 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 da. The universe. I don't think it matters which way it is. Although, I guess it depends on what I think, right? Right? Because to me, this is upright. It's my tarot deck, right? That's reversed. That's the universe in reverse. I love this tarot deck, by the way. I'm still getting used to it. I've had it for a few months. I don't use it much, but I love it. I love it. Quantum tarot. Quantum Tarot 2.0. Okay, so the universe in reverse. Well, we got the world in reverse yesterday for Divine Masculine, right next to that Five of Cups. Remember that? So that makes a lot, a lot of sense. The universe basically in this tarot deck is like the world on steroids. It's like the world card on steroids. So, Divine Masculine... Eh, if ever there was a card that represents so-called stuck energy, this is it. The universe in reverse, divine masculine. Okay, right there at the bottom of the deck. Look at this. Recent past, divine masculine, two of cups in reverse. Okay, yeah. You know, putting everything on the table, right? Laying it all out, divine masculine. Giving it all up. Like I'm hitting the reset button on everything. I don't need anybody. I don't need my so-called karmic. I don't need divine feminine, although she's pretty fucking hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I take that back. I like divine feminine. But need? This is another matter. Needing and desires are not the same, right? Need is where you're like going to fucking die if you don't have it. So that's good. That's good. It's not a bad thing considering... These energies and the energies we've been getting for the last few weeks with Divine Masculine, I don't have any problem with that. That's not a bad thing right there. This, so however Divine Masculine is feeling towards their so-called karmic situation, this is old news. This came out, it was either Wednesday or last Saturday. Ten of Pentacles in reverse next to the Three of Swords. And I don't, I, I don't think it was that particular combination. What I'm saying is the energy, guys, this is... This is Divine Masculine, like kind of mourning over the loss of the life that they've known. Actually, I think we talked about that yesterday too, as a matter of fact. Mourning over the life, mourning over the loss of the life situation that they have known. It's very heartbreaking. It's very heartbreaking. Even if it's a situation that isn't serving you anymore, 
nobody does anything wrong based on their model of the world. So I just have to say, you know, likely divine masculine, maybe they just need a break. Maybe this is one of those times, divine feminine, give them a break. What was the, what was the card yesterday? Compassion, right? They're leaving their situation and they know they're leaving. They're leaving their situation and they know they're leaving. The people they're with might not realize that. Job, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, right? Maybe they haven't announced it yet, but uh, yeah, that's a heavy burden. That's a heavy burden. Now, towards you, Divine Feminine, how is Divine Masculine feeling recent past towards Divine Feminine? We have Justice right next to the Six of Cups in reverse. So Divine Masculine, looking back onto the past, feeling very, very good about it, so good that they want to release the past and move forward with Divine Feminine, with Divine Feminine. I know that this is right. I know that we were supposed to be together. We were meant to be together. I want that. Divine Masculine, whether or not they're talking to you, doing anything in the physical at all, that's what it's all about, guys. Remember, what do I always say? Yeah, maybe the action isn't there yet, but energy comes first, then action. Energy comes first, then action. So I'm really glad to see Divine Masculine with this inner dialogue up here in the past. Give them a break. Give them a break. If they don't quite seem to be doing right, give them a break. Give them a break. It's the universe in reverse right? So things might not look the way that Divine Masculine feels about them. Things might not look the way that Divine Masculine feels about them. And I know I'm right about that because look at this, right at the center of the reading, we have justice right there, guys. Right there. What else do you need? Huh? I'm sorry. Did I say justice? Judgment. Right there, guys. Judgment right at the center of the reading, not in the reverse. No, this came out straight up. Straight up. Straight up, mother Yeah. Straight up, judgment in your face, right at the center of the reading. Divine, creepy, uh, masculine. Divine, masculine. So, this is the big one, guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's energy. Energy is everything, not actions. Energy comes first. Actions come as a result of energy. And that is exactly what the tarot is trying to tell you. Divine Feminine, be careful that you're not pushing your twin away, right? You don't want to do anything about them and you don't want to not do anything about them. Just let it be what it is and worry about you. That's how you get your twin flame to be with you. I know that sounds crazy, but that's really how this works. This is not soulmates, guys. This is not soulmates. You gotta do soul stuff. What did I say at the beginning of the reading while I was drawing the cards? I know a lot of you skipped that part, but I explained what union is and the basic concept behind it. You might wanna go back and re-listen to that, right? You gotta do soul stuff. You and your twin flame are the same soul. You gotta do soul stuff, right? And what does the soul do? It doesn't judge, does it? No, no. And if you can master that, divine masculine will stop acting all fucked up and narcissistic. <laughs> I promise. I promise. I did it. I've helped lots of other people do it. That's how it works, guys. This is not soulmates. This is your twin flame. Now look at this. Towards the so-called karmic situation, divine masculine right now, five of pentacles in reverse and the three of pentacles in reverse. So divine masculine trying to figure out how to bridge the gap of change in their physical situation. What do I gotta do? Do I need to open up a secret bank account? Do I need to find somebody's couch to go crash on? You know what I mean? What, what do I gotta do to get out of this situation? Okay, bridging that gap. How do I get out of there? How do I physically do that? This is exactly what I've been talking about, isn't it? Yes. Divine Masculine energetically ramping up. And that's been the energy for the past couple of weeks, guys. Divine Masculine, getting ready to take off. Getting ready to take off. Don't believe what you see, Divine Feminine. Don't believe what you see. 
the universe in reverse. Don't believe what you see. It's just an illusion. It's just an illusion. Energy is where it's at. Look at this. Towards divine feminine, how does divine masculine feel? Well, we got the five of swords in reverse and the ace of pentacles. Very interesting. So, going to be calling a truce. Is divine masculine hitting you up? Saying, gee, I'm sorry for being such a dickhead. Or I mean, uh, uh, brat. Mm -mm. <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry, Divine Feminine, right? Oops, sorry. I don't want to fight anymore. I'm just really conflicted right now. I don't want to fight with you anymore, Divine Feminine. I'm just really conflicted right now. And that could explain, like if your twin is not talking to you right now, Divine Masculine, that probably explains it. That inner conflict, guilt. I'm sorry for what I did, Divine Feminine. You didn't deserve that. You didn't deserve that. And you probably didn't, Divine Feminine. Let's see what the old Oracle deck has to say. Happy Saturday, guys. As always, if you would like to work with me, I got some good news for you. I'm not a tarot reader who also gives you advice. It's the other way around. I am a professional Twin Flame coach who also does tarot readings on the side. I was able to attract my Twin Flame to me like magic, like a magnet. She blocked me. She told me to fuck off. I did the deal, guys. You and your twin flame are the same soul. I figured that out. All I have to do is let go of the physical person and align with my soul. And I did it. And that's when she started talking to me again. You've got to do soul stuff. You've got to do soul stuff, guys. I did it. I've got over a thousand students, guys, that I've helped to date. And I have students that are with their twin flame, married to their twin flame. You come to me feeling like shit. You got the obsessive thinking going even still. I can help you. I can help you out of that dark place. And then to go on to live your best, most amazing life and even get your twin flame to talk to you again. I'm not kidding. Not even joking. Not even a little bit. Go to my website, newworldallstar.com and sign up today for the Introduction to the Journey online video coaching package. Eight and a half hours of videos. No, they are not on my YouTube channel, although I do have a lot of free content that you should go watch. I'll tell you more about that later. Eight and a half hours of videos, guys. Oh my goodness. I will give you action steps that you can follow and start implementing today to get you out of the obsessive thinking, shut down the feeling like shit, and yes, even get your twin flame to come back to you. I'm not kidding, guys. I'm dead serious. And you know what else? I don't charge thousands. I only charge a few hundred bucks. That's it. It's like $269 to get started with my basic package. And then when you're done with the videos, you and I get a talk either in a one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting. In my Get Your Twin Flame Ascension workshop, there's me, I have two coaches assisting me, and there's a whole bunch of people in there having breakthroughs every day. It's unbelievable, guys. You wouldn't believe the things that we're doing on those group calls. There's four a week, too. And if you get the gold package, you get two months of those calls included. You'll have four hours every week all month long to talk to me about your situation and i don't give up easy guys i've got some pretty stubborn students trust me and i don't give up easy i am absolutely gonna turn you into a spiritual badass i promise i promise i want you to live your best life and i'm not fucking kidding i want you to be i want you to be good and i want your twin flame talking to you again go to my website newworldallstar.com and get started today and if you cannot afford my already very low prices, no problem, guys. I've got payment plans. You can get started for, I think it's like $53.17 or I, I think it's something like that for my payment plan. Hit me up if you're interested in a payment plan. Little, little tiny investment, guys. And I give you a lot of stuff. I give you a lot of stuff for a little tiny bit of money. All right, let's do this. Let's see what's going on here. Oracle card. Where are you? Where are you? I think it's over here. Mm, yeah. Ooh, no. Yeah. Oh, man. That, that one's like sparking. Look at this. Intention. Listen to me. This is the very first thing that I teach all of my students who take the Introduction to the Journey online video coaching package that I was just telling you about. Intention. 
the reason why I do a thing is more important than the thing that I am actually doing. What did I tell you at the beginning of this video where I explained what union is? Actions do not matter. There is no doing and there is no not doing. It's energy, guys. It's energy. Just yearning for your twin flame emotionally is exactly what is pushing them away. Intention. The reason why I do a thing is more important than the thing that I'm actually doing. It's all about your energy, guys. This is not soulmates. There's no conversation you're going to have with your twin flame that's going to make any difference at all. At all. Intention. Intention, guys. you got to neutralize that energy. I call it duality-based energy. It's addictive. It's the mind. It's what's pushing them away. That emotional energy, that clinginess, you got to let that go. And you do that by aligning with your soul. Get out of your mind and align with your soul which is your twin flame. It's the true spiritual journey. Align with your soul. It's not a, there's no gimmicks. There's no hooks. There's no techniques. There's no techniques. All I'm telling you is you are not your mind. You are a soul. That's not a technique. That's why what I teach works. That's why it's so effective. You and your twin flame are the same soul. You got to do soul stuff, guys. What you do doesn't matter. What you do doesn't matter. What is your intention? Am I making sense to you? I hope so. Look at this right there. Most likely outcome, divine masculine, the emperor in reverse. Well, that's not happy. That's not happy. Mm, that's not happy. <laughs> divine masculine, probably going to be telling his so-called karmic where to stick it. Look at this. The 10 of swords right next to the star. See, this is what I'm talking about. They know that they are having some kind of an experience. They don't know what it is. You do, Divine Feminine. But some kind of an awakening, something is going on. They can't put their finger on it. And staying in that situation is making them feel miserable. Absolutely miserable. <sighs> que sera, que sera, Divine Masculine. And how does Divine Masculine feel towards Divine Feminine? Coming in towards the end of the week, Divine Masculine really being hard on themselves. We got the Page of Wands in reverse, Death in reverse. Eh, yeah. I mean, like I said, guys, I think Divine Masculine is really guilt tripping themselves. Really, really guilt tripping themselves. Okay. And they get this. They get this. They don't know that they get it, but they do. They know. Well, how they feel is what matters. That's why the star card comes out. They feel guilty. That's why that page of wands in reverse comes out right next to the death card. How they feel matters. And that's a good thing, guys. I'm glad to see Divine Masculine having these breakthroughs, aren't you? I thought so. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for Divine Feminine. Have a happy Saturday. Bye.